What's up everyone, this is Zansug91, back once again for some more Let's Play Jig Cocoon. In the last part, we got our first minion from the Blue Cocoon Master Chorus. In this one, we're going to go back to Cyrus in order to figure out how purification really works. And we're about to see, because this is the only place where you can do it. Yes, you can only talk to Mabu when you want to purify your cocoons. Don't overdo it until you get better at hunting, alright? Try talking with Mother Garai if there's something you don't understand. But I'd watch out. Her stories can be long and boring. But don't tell her I said that. Yeah, perform, ma perform Nagi magic. Our enemy we love, and for the tormented we pray. Grant us the beasts of knowledge, the power to touch the spirit. Yeah, unfortunately, you have to sit through this whole animation every single time, but thankfully, it's not that long. You can skip past the dialogue. Alright, here is the purification menu. Here we have merge. You can select two minions and combine them but we only have one. Here you can spin your minion into silk, but you can sell into the village store for money. The more minions you spin, the higher quality the silk will be, you get more money. Equipment, or equip, you can equip yourself with a minion. You can only hold up to three at each time. And here we get a little view. You can rename the creatures and give them a different name. Here we have our little dragon dude. Use our L1 R2, R1 R2 button to zoom in to get a better look at him. It's a puny little dragon, but don't worry, he'll get stronger. And, as a bonus, when the minions actually grow up in level, their bodies actually expand. So, one part of the minion may get longer, the wings might get bigger, and so on and so forth. It might lengthen out, whatever. And why not? I'm gonna rename our dragon because that name's gonna be way too annoying to say every single time. So I'm just gonna go off for the name right off the top of my head. Sapphire. I don't care how you pronounce it, I pronounce it my way. And as you can see, he has quite basic stats, he's more lean towards the speed oriented uh, minion, which you can see in the lower right hand corner. They either deal with attack, speed, magic, or defense. The more defense you have, the less you get hurt, but chances are you won't be able to move very fast. It's kind of that thing, they always point in one direction. Like, northwest you'd probably be a fast attacker, or Southwest, you'd be a fast magic user. Uh, southeast, you'd be a defensive magic user, and so on and so forth. And also, if you push square, you can see what kind of abilities your thing can do. Right now, he doesn't seem to have anything. Which is kind of odd. Usually, he starts out with some kind of technique, but don't worry. Well, good luck! I'll always be here if you need anything. Thank you, Mabu. And I don't think we have that much money yet, so let's go back to the forest. And thankfully, we can just go right to the beetle forest once you unlock the forest itself. And now we can kind of get into the meat and potatoes of the main game. The fighting. Good, nice, beautiful backgrounds. I can't stress that enough. The backgrounds are simply wondrous to look at. Now with battle, you really have two choices. Either weaken an enemy until you can capture it, or defeat it with your minions so it can grow stronger. I think I'm going to show the second one of that. The second option of just defeating it with your minions. Minions have four options, attack, defense, special, and magic. Special is when they have a certain a certain power put onto one of their body parts. Like with 
horns, fangs, claws, and so on and so forth. Magic is when they have a special kind of attack. And as you can see, we're fighting Air Elemental. Insert Avatar joke here. Each one of these elements attacks another in turn. Water is good against fire, fire is good against air, air is good against earth, and earth is good against water. So it's that kind of rotation advantage kind of thing. There's no more types other than that. But there is a possibility to have all four types, or none at all. It is possible. All depends on how you train your minion, how you merge them with others, and what you just saw there was a critical hit. When the screen flashes like that, either you or the enemy will get hurt very severe, severely, either brought to, the, brought to death or to the brink of death. You want to look out for that. And also, you can kind of easily see when your guy's going to level up. If he's going up against a person of its own level, it will most likely level up. But if it's going against, say, my level 2 is going against a level 1, it'll take two level 1 battles in order for it to level up again. So it's kind of that easy math. And why not, let's get a skill wasp. I may keep this, keep these kind of names, because they do kind of explain what the thing is. It's a bug. And since you can see I've done 20 damage, I don't want to do any more because I know that my base damage right now is 10. You gotta keep track of your own little attack power. And also I changed the changed the capture thing off screen, so it won't take us too long. But now that we captured the main of our own, without Chorus's help, our capture level will go up to 2. Also, we got an item from the minion called a Bitter Mogwort. It's kind of like a stronger version of it. And to rearrange your stuff, just push square. That simple. But if you kill a minion, nothing will happen. That's kind of the bad things. And to pick this thing up, the stone tablet is laid against the base of a rock. Knowledge 1 picked up. These are little tablets that give you little bits of information. You don't need to collect them, but they're good for beginners. And they pretty much just say what I told you, the whole rotation advantage. Yeah, that's a good name for it. Here we have another save point. Over here, if I can grab it. Down here. Get down there, please. Can I not get down there? I guess I can't. This is called a warp point, but you can't use it unless you have a certain item. Each forest, except the last one, has a warp point. And an item used for it. And let's go down this path. And hello! This is one of my favorite minions in the game, the fighter minions. Yes, fighter minions. These things specialize in brute force. And they show it by punching your lights out. The early ones come in two varieties, the fire and the air. But since we already have an air, we don't exactly need to get another one. Even you can do a critical strike. As you can see right there, he just displayed a special attack. He used his horns in order to do fire damage. Now there are different kind of attributes to doing damage, like, say, injuring an enemy's legs, or doing a special ailment on him, or causing poison, something like that. Every minion has its own little advantages. But, the best thing is, combine minions, you combine techniques. So you're not just getting a power, more powerful minion, you're getting all the parent techniques. Get what I'm saying? So if my dragon had like a water technique for his tail and 
I merged it with the fire guy who has it for his horns, then it will maybe get both of them. And this thing isn't really all that good, so I'm just going to use Sapphire on it. It's another water type, I don't need it. I may want to combine them off screen, and I will show off the fusion the fusing process. Don't worry about that. Right now our guy isn't all that strong, but he is fast. So that's a plus. What this guy is going to try and do is he's he has a recovery move. And that's what the main water minion specializes in. Healing. But with air... I believe that specializes in status ailments like sleep. And I think that fire primarily sticks with attacks. And I believe that Earth mainly deals in defense. And dead. You're gonna see a lot of those weird little jumping guys. I never really use them that much because they don't exactly appeal to me that much. And we're going to need a key for that, but don't worry, don't forget about it though, because it will come in very handy for beginners. And hello, goodbye. And here we have another tablet. College number two. Thank God for quick button pressing. Our attack power and mana resides more effective than normal special and magic attacks. Remember your speed, more turns you get attack your enemy. Yeah, that's more obvious talk there. Running away. And... Why not? Let's go back. For one thing, I want to heal myself. For another thing, I want to show off the other minions. But again, as Cora said, you cannot use them until you go back to mob. So it's a lot of kind of like fetch... Fe it's a lot like a fetch quest. Try saying that five times fast. But you will need to do this if you want to have your guys grow effectively. You just don't want a whole bunch of the same kind of moves. You want a good range of status, status ailment attacks, maybe some high powered attacks, some disabling attacks, and like two or three good magic attacks. Even if your guys were physical. And let's equip them all. And here's my favorite part of the game, the merge process. What you can do is merge your guys. And see what you're going to learn. See the family tree. And best of all, see what it looks like. And it does depend on how you put them into the formation. This is if you put, put the dragon first. The dragon acts as the base, the first one. The first minion acts as the main base. The second one acts as the skin. So, say, if I did the bug first, he would get the dragon's skin. Just as a different color because their skin colors are merging together. So I have like a dragon wasp. And something like this, it may change the color completely change it to purple. But I don't usually do anything like this until near the beginning of the second dungeon. And it gives him a huge chin. I mean, look at that. Jay Leno be jealous. <laughs> but now we should go back to the forest and start rounding up a bit more. Because I need some money. Not just for like for like weapons and such, but it's good to have a nice amount of money in the game. You don't get many opportunities. And sometimes the enemy may change when you re-enter the forest, or sometimes it may be the same. It all depends on really it's random. So you're not asking for a whole lot. See how our fire guy can handle an air type. And see, right there, he nearly crushed him in one hit. 
but it does use up a bit of mana. And of course, mana and magic are the same thing. But most basic spells and special attacks will take about 10 mana. And I do believe whenever you level up, you all your stuff gets filled up, mostly, except for the mana. I think that's a good enough explanation. Sure, the, this game may it may act like a tank kind of game, but it's not. As long as you keep on the straight and narrow, there's not there's not really much of a point to turning since the game does it on itself. Right now, I'm just holding down the button. And hello, liquor. Yes, believe it or not, the way to heal your minions is with booze. Liquor made with pickle shab minion. Heal some minion HP and that. And you'll see a shab in the forest pretty damn soon. And in my opinion, not the best looking minions. And I can't get past some crap. Oh well, I'll capture it anyway. I could always use the money. But unfortunately, your, your damage always stays the same until you change your weapon. They'll never change. So it's best to get enough get up enough money so that you can get stronger weapons, inflict more damage quicker, and then capture a minion that much sooner. It all gets into the same kind of system. But I can kind of see where people call this game kind of repetitive. But I honestly don't see it. I mean, if the same thing kind of goes with Pokemon. If you're always running into grass, you're always training, and it somewhat is busy work, but without busy work, we wouldn't exactly have RPGs, now would we? Secret of RPGs broken wide open. And on some rare occasions, the minions may drop certain items, like what they did with the bitter fly port. But in the later, but in the later forest areas, they'll drop weapons, strong weapons. I mean, like freaking giant blades, because. I got something called the Dragon's Crest, and it is a huge spy hander. A two-handed two sword. It was huge. And that was from one encounter. You couldn't buy the sword either. It is hidden in the game. Hidden by the minions. And it's pretty much one of the strongest in the game. Because... Near the end of the game, they give you the opportunity to pretty much buy everything in the entire game, but you cannot buy this weapon. And here it splits off again. We're going to go on to the left. On 18 minutes. Adamel. I'm... Merging kind of acts as a double-edged sword. Sure, you're kind of screwing with your leveling up system, but you aren't doing your minions an actual favor by doing it because technically you are leveling them up faster. So technically, you are leveling up your minions by doing this, by capturing others. You're just doing it in a different fashion. Really? It's the best part. get past maybe like two more areas and then I'll put a stop to this. And here we got some red little jumpers. And they're protecting a tablet. Knowledge three. What do we got that I don't already know? While poisoning your physical and magical 
attack decreases and you do less damage. It's kind of like the burn effect in Pokemon, but this actually affects pretty much both of your damage dealers. So it's definitely nothing to be screwed around with. And also when you're poisoned, your, either you or your minion's body will turn all green. Just as a quick notice. And these, ladies and gentlemen, are the Shab minions. They're snakes. And I don't like them one bit. I'm not sure if these ones can really be damage dealers, but the ones later on will definitely get on your nerves. Of course, they come in two varieties. They can come in air and fire. Thankfully, every time you level up, you might get some more mana, so you can do more attacks. See, now I can capture both of them. But poison will not always work, as you can clearly see. Contemplating on whether turning my bug into a snake or turning up my snake into a bug. Word complications, easy fix. Thanks for the price of it. You'll be amazed how much these suckers grow. And it failed again. It's strange. I'm looking right at my frame drop and it says 75. But really, it hasn't really done anything to the video. Strange. it and getting out of here. Great Walnut. After level 4 and her rank changes to Novice. Yeah, every 4 levels you'll change your rank. The rank doesn't exactly do anything. But for the Great Walnut, it'll give you more HP if you use it. And also it fully heals you. But only use it as a last resort. Yahoo! No get away. Skeleton Key. Oh, I'm getting out of here. Thank you, Hunter's Earring. Allows us to leave whenever we want. And I think that's going to do it for this part. And Blinding Light. So, next time in Let's Play Jake Cocoon, we might be going through a bit more of the forest, seeing what other new minions we can capture, and also we might do a little bit of merging with mob. So, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out!